last time on Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So, last time I might have seemed, how do I say it, a little bored. And that's because I was, well, bored. Uh, the last map didn't have a whole lot to offer, in terms of anything new or anything by variety. And what I mean by that is, I know it's not the exact same, but it's almost the end game of part one just flipped around with a different tile set and some different enemies. And I know that's a lot to say, just like, oh, what? Some maps in Fire Emblem look or feel the same? But honestly, this is one of the longest Fire Emblem games in the series. And the reason why I don't think other games or like Fire Emblem can be like other RPGs that last over 120 hours, which are some of my favorites, is not because there's not enough levels, I feel like there's not enough dialogue, and then when it comes to designing practical levels, it doesn't exactly come through well, causing there to be too many levels just because we need this to be here to separate the dialogue, so it creates some interesting situations. Anyways. Um, what we're gonna do now is nothing, because we pretty much already cleared up everything. The only thing differently that you guys haven't seen is I decided to give Cancel to Soren. Why? Because why not? It might be useful, he might proc it sometimes, and it'll be great. Uh, aside from that, let's just get going. I come out here, hurry, it's the Banyon army. What? <laughs> I love how, like, 99% of Ike's dialogue is him turning around to people and being like, What? Are you serious? That does not look like a good. What are they doing here? It hasn't even been three days. It seems they couldn't care less. They're demanding the castle back, and if we don't comply, they'll attack. They were probably waiting for both the Galleons and the Hawk tribe to leave the castle. Oh, th they think they can take us now that they're we're all alone, huh? They obviously don't know who they're against. Let's make them remember the name of the Grail mercenaries. Everyone, get in posi- Nephany, stop eating the paint thinner! Okay, so... We can choose again. Are these people out of my army, or am I forced to... Oh no, that's right, they left. And thank God they did, because I don't want to use them at all. Alright, so let's take out Eliana and put in Raisin. Cool. I think we have what we have, and it's working out wonderfully. Yeah, I don't really have any arguments here. Um, maybe I should just reposition them, though. Okay, so we have yet another defense map. Always happy to see that, and I have to position my units accordingly for this. So we have some highly armored units over here. Spearheaded with Myrmidons, or Swordmasters, as they're called. I think the third tier is called a True Blade, I think? Um, down here we have a bunch of mounted units to charge us really quickly. We have some casters, more mounted units, some crossbowmen, more axe users, and some lance users. Alright, so I do get to decide how we go about this. Yes, Mia, that's exactly where I want you. It would be a shame not to have someone like Shinon guarding this upper staircase. So I want someone with him who can do a fantastic job. Uh, which is probably going to end up being Soren, in all honesty. Uh, because I want... We need an archer to work this catapult. So we can put Rolf right there. I think he'll do a fine job. Um, there are some people we should probably move a bit closer. Um, Braum probably won't be too great against these Swordmasters, because they're going to... Outspeed him no matter what. Yeah, definitely. So I don't want him fighting them. Whoops. Uh, what I could do is I could put Braum up here and move Riss back. The rest of the people in the area seem to be fine. I, I don't think I'm going to take advantage of both ballistas, but. It's just because we don't have enough archers, and I feel like uh, Shinon has a very important position to manage right here. And the further we can keep them away, the better. Uh, we have to be aggressive. 
passively, aggressively defensive. Why is this thing up here? I, I feel like I should be able to put an archer up there. But I know I can't. It's not even part of the map. <laughs> um, I don't really have any other arguments as to this. Everything seems like it's going to go as planned. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we're just going to have to start and see how it goes. Do, 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 do. Although I do want to use the Ballista, I'm going to go ahead and save it for flying units. Because I, knowing Radiant Dawn, I'm already expecting there to be some form of flying unit that's going to come in and try to disturb the peace. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a lot I didn't take into account here. <laughs> I didn't take into account all the gaps. Oh, shit, I didn't even see these. Uh, that's going to cause us to reformulate a strategy quite quickly. And now I have to decide how I'm going to do this, because there's no way we can block every single hole. Um, Alright, so we're going to have Boyd come down here. He's going to use a hand axe. I need to start moving our mounted units downwards. And since Mia will be up here, do I want to take this? Yes, this is what I want. Brom stand here. Nephi stand here. Or should I have her on her own? Because I need two people to block this, and if I knew that, I would have moved a few units around. But that appears that that's not going to happen real quick. We need three units in total to cover up this side, but everyone's too far away right now. Har still has some maneuverability, and I haven't forgotten about him. He has a job to fulfill. Oh shit, she doesn't have a normal sword, does she? I really should have checked inventory before I did this. It's okay, I don't mind wasting the woe Dao, it's not great anyways. So what we can do is, I just realized we have race in here. I don't remember if he's the two healer Lagoos, and by that I mean he can uh, regen several people at once. I hope so. I'm gonna go with Vigor. I don't know what Bliss is. I bet it's a skill? I don't see it. Well, I don't know what the difference between Vigor and Bliss is. Maybe Bliss heals and Vigor's the one that gives them a second turn? Uh, that's my only guess. What? Oh, you can only do the one person. That's why. Okay, I probably should have done Oscar. <laughs> because Titania can't... Well, I mean, she can take a place right here for now. Which means Nephany can fit right here. Gautry can fit right there. Although I'm not sure how much I want him against the mage. Although the mage won't even really be able to hit him anyway, so... That kind of clears up that problem. I'm kind of scared of having Mist over here, because her speed is... I mean, they won't double her, but she's not faster than them by any means. Uh, you know what, we're just going to do this for now, and we're going to shove Mist right here with her Florette. She should be fine, I'm hoping. And Shinon, I want you right here, with an Iron Bow. And it's for Gautry, he can cover this. Okay, I like the way this is going so far. I don't need Ike to be sitting on the point permanently, though. Ike, we need to go. You need to hustle. Alright, I think I like how this is going. Uh, I don't know if there's any units I need to steal from, particularly. I'm just gonna go through them real quick to see if I can find anything. There's a Vulnerary, not too interested. A dropped Vulnerary, and a coin. Who the hell is the coin? It's the Thunder Sage down here, but that's the only thing I could see that I want. I probably should have brought someone instead of Heather, because... 
she's just not doing too great. I won't sew it back. Oh my god. I think she's just entirely trying to make up for the last game. She realizes that she didn't crit ever in the last game, and she's like, You know what, Zeno? I think you deserve a good Mia this time around. Oh shit, those guys have some decent crit chances, although, even if they crit two damage, what does that make? Har can't double them, though. No adept proc this time around. Alright, let's see how the rest of the army decides to move up. So the thing, the only real threat we have here, since we don't have any Pegasus Knights or anything to worry about, are the casters that they're going to kind of shuffle in between their units. Luckily this one picks Soren for a target. And Soren doesn't take shit. From anyone. I love height advantage on defense. Now, it might have been better to put Gotri up front instead of Braum. Because Gautry is much, much stronger. But Brom can also do the job. He has enough defense. I'm going to have to worry about some of the casters, though. Because he's not high resistance, obviously. And he should heal Mia a bit. Or at least buff her. I forgot what he does. Uh, luckily, we also have... Raisin back here. To heal Mia when she's in trouble. Not Raisin, um, Riss. Wow, she's just not getting lucky. Aside from crits, but it's 31%. I forgot about that earlier. <laughs> The thing is, I could really just send Har alone. Aside from this Elfire Tome guy, Har could probably take the majority of them. Use the ZZZZZZZZ. Look at that broken axe on Har. No, Har, I want you to be right there. Or actually, right here. Now, as far as everything else goes... Uh, luckily, this Elf Thunder user isn't within range of Har, but he's going to be within range of Braum pretty soon. And that's not exactly the most fun time in the world. The thing is, Oscar can generally... Not really. I was going to say he could fit in Braum's place, but that's not true. That is a lie. No kill, but we tried. Glad I bought him a javelin. Now, I think I'm going to send Ike down here to deal with everyone, because Ike... Oh my god, Ike, your resistance. What the fuck? I know you're supposed to have some flaw, but your resistance is lower than Brahms. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, you're very... You're going to be very fragile against casters, and that's not something I can discount as not a problem. So, I don't, I don't really know what we're going to do with you yet. 
I think I really need to have Gautry and him switch places, but they're pretty far away right now. You know what? Instead of waiting for some flyers to show up or something, we're going to Ballista the caster. It's going to work better that way. You know, I could probably just switch in these positions between Braum, Ike, and uh, Oscar because I think, honestly, every single other position is well fortified. I'm not worried about this left side whatsoever. They've got things covered. I'm really not worried about this point right here. I am rather comfortable with how things are going. So I'm going to move Ike over to here. And I'm just going to keep these guys around for more general use. Um... You know, let's see what Bliss does real quick. I didn't see what that does. Whoops, it said something. I didn't read the prompt, though. Probably should have. That fixes up Mia, because she's an amazing headband lady. And as for the rest of us, uh... Florette, why not? Building supports works for me. And I know that several of these guys can't even attack us uh, without... Because a lot of them don't even have ranged weapons, so they're just going to sit there and stare at us for a while, which is kind of weird, but... Can't argue with it. Oh, Titania's nearly out of weapons. Luckily, she's right next to Braum, who's just loaded with axes at the moment, so... And knowing the way the AI works, the mage won't even be able to get in to here, so... We'll be fine. Alright, another turn where we practically did nothing. Fools, can't you see you're outnumbered? You have sided with the Lagoos and betrayed the Empire. The Senate will be happy to see the likes of you dead and buried. Enemy phase. Yeah, I don't know. You're trying to hurt God Oscar and it's not going to work well. Oh, I'm very happy with the way that mage had to move. Oh, you know who I want to have pass? I want her to have pass now that I think about it. But usually you can just fly around the enemies, so... It's a weird thing. I like having pass on generals, generally. Huh, no pun intended. Uh, because I can move through enemies and set up choke points that I normally wouldn't be able to do. But... It all depends on the situation, I suppose. Oh, weapon advantage. But can weapon advantage beat sleep? Come on, get some speed. Everyone's doubling you. Or not doubling you, but you can't double anyone. Thank you. <laughs> Zeno asks and G Zeno shall bleh, receive. Okay, so this is... I, I don't understand their plan here. We have to do this for 10 turns. I mean, we could do this definitely more efficiently as to where... I don't understand. What's their plan? I could keep this up for 20 turns. Don't do that. I, I only want 10, please. Good job. Although, no, I'm a little worried about that caster running over and going after Braum because Satanya killed one. Eh, 
Nope, one's just gonna move up. Although I still do fear for Titania. Nice, double. Oh, that's not quite enough. So here's what we're going to do with Har. Har is not completely invincible. Sadly, though, he has no weapons that can straight just one-shot this person. Hmm. Deciding how to go... Wait, Har doesn't need pass. Wait, what? He can go through the pillar and... Okay. Alright then. I'm not gonna argue. Works in my favor. Arguing at this point would be rather silly. Oh, there we go. That's the answer I want. Yay, Rolf. You got some XP too, even though you really didn't need it. Well, that solves that problem. <laughs> he has a 1% ch chance of critting if I go with this. He does have cancel now. I'm not sure how great that's going to be on him, but um, I, I don't know. I feel like it could do him some good and save him in a certain situation. Oh, she doesn't have a ranged weapon. And she still has Ike's other Ettard. Ettard, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we need to do some switcheroos here. Titania's not healthy right now. I'll easily switch her out for Ike, and happily at that. Although I probably should have given him the Ettard, because... An Iron Sword doesn't have enough might to really... Punch a hole in any of these guys. It could be just my imagination or my rigid, like, memory of, uh, Path of Radiance making Ike kind of broken, <laughs> but he seems a bit weaker in this game. Could be my imagination. Probably is. I'm probably entirely wrong about that. The thing is, as much as I want to take care of this problem now, Har can't do all of this by himself. I don't really know what my answer is going to be here, because... Well, I do have Raisin still. But I don't have many units available to screw around and do things that I want them to do. Oh, well, you know what I could do? I could definitely just heal afterwards, so... Let's do this. Okay. The goddess of sleep is on our side. What else, what else, what else, what else do we want to do? Move over here so he can reach Har. Now... Do I have to worry about anything else back here? Not for a while. So with the Wodao, she should be able to take him out with minimal losses, if we're lucky. She has a chance to proc Adept and then a chance to crit too, so... There we go. Now he's dead. And hopefully she dodges it. I'll put her in a safe spot. Kind of safe. And even though these mountain units can move over here, they can't climb up, so I'm not really worried about that either. I want you to Vigor Har. And with Har Vigored, we can solve some problems. Um, 
You're strong, dude. You're just not there yet. That should bring him down to killing range. For, um... Yeah, you know what? We'll do it like that. Yep. Within killing range. This is fun to manage. Although it doesn't even really... It's not quite the same as the last defense map. Although I still have much to learn. I can't go around calling these things easy. When I'm so bad at Fire Emblem. I'm just terrible. I'm bad at this game. They'll still love it forever. Har got really lucky with that feather on the axe build. Forging is great. I love forging when it's broken like this. Alright, so what I'm thinking of doing now... Although I'm fairly sure almost all those guys will double prom. I don't want that to happen, but the chance they'll hit is also fairly low. We could put Heather up here, although she's quite frail. Her speed most likely will not fail her. Oh my god, Nephany, your dodge chances. Good lord, girl. This is probably a mistake. But I've already made the mistake, so I can save and then see what happens. Yeah, battle safe, scum, because I'm terrible. Okay, so next. They have higher hit chance than I like. Uh, I pictured the elevation giving us quite a bit more than it is, as far as hit chance goes, but you can't have everything, I suppose. I'm just spamming Florette so they can get their support up. Slowly killing the unit, too, and leveling up Mist for other things than just healing. Yeah, you go, Mist. Okay, so that should solve... Who haven't I moved? Oh, Braum. I don't know, Braum, just eat a potato or something. The Wo Dao probably, yeah, one damage. It doesn't matter what Mia does. And I bet that's why he attacked her. He can also do the most damage. Even if she was to adept twice and crit twice, it still wouldn't kill him, which is sad. <laughs> Sad in its own way. I guess there was no need to save. I don't trust this at all. I'm having way too easy of a time with this map. I don't trust it. Something bad's going to happen. Like, there's going to be wyverns coming out of Ike's stomach. He's like, oh my god, when did those get there? And it's like, reinforcements have arrived. Our plan has succeeded. <laughs> I'm very happy with you, Brom. Very happy. And they're building their support like crazy. Nephany is really strong. I don't mean like her strength physically, but she has some pretty high speed. Spearfighter has to be like up there on my class list of things I like. Oh, 
Okay, so they sent two mages to the left, which I have completely covered by archers and mages, so I'm not scared at all. Well then, what happens, happens. I know she won't have Florette after a while, but hey, building supports. Alright, what do we want to do now? I could keep Nephany here most definitely. She's performing beyond my wildest expectations. I could probably also replace Heather with Ike. Yeah, I could do that. Where's the mage that has the thing? Oh my god, he's just gonna stay down here, isn't he? Yeah, never mind, the coin's not even worth it. Alright, Heather, um, you just keep doing nothing. I appreciate you, but, um... Wind Edge, destroy them. I don't want to waste the Wind Edge, but at the same time, it's kind of like... I want to get rid of this archer, so... Twirl, honey, twirl. There we go. You can always believe in Ike when you can't believe in anyone else. If I was in a room and I had to choose between Ike and Marth... Um... Not in a weird way, I mean like... Oh, I'm gonna die in this room. Unless I choose one of them to protect me. I would probably choose... I don't know. Ike seems more dignified and strong, so I choose him. Martha's pretty cool. But, like, he's the kind of guy that you just want to bring to your wedding ceremony to make sure you people know that you know important people. Uh, I don't know what I'm going off on on a tangent. Anyways. Heal Titania? Or mend her might- nope, healing will do fine. Damn, you would really have to encounter some people with some very high health bars in order to... ...need anything but mend, or I mean heal. So, now that we have all these people out of the way, we can actually go on the offensive... ...with... ...um, these three. And they can start sweeping around. Because, rather people know that or not, the best chance you have at winning a defense map, and this is at least my ideology, could be entirely wrong. Don't trust me, ever. It's the worst thing you could ever do. This guy's L Thunder. That's very scary. So we're not going to deal with that right now. But the best thing you can do is go on the offensive when you can. Is she gonna be okay? Oh my god, she's not gonna be okay. I just thought about this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Don't worry, I saved the day. Kind of. Problem solved. They're really not going for it. I don't feel the ambitions coming from my enemies, and that saddens me greatly. But what that also means is that we could, if we really, really wanted to, go down here and start bothering them. And because there's like a 0% chance that anything will hit Shinon, I am confident in sending him down here. Soren, not so much. Uh, Soren, it's kind of a scary deal to throw him down there in the midst of things. 
But Boyd, despite your shortcomings, despite all the things I've always said about you, you still can't really do that much. But that's okay. Uh, not everybody on the team can do as well as everyone else. Yeah, level up. Okay, what... How do I want to take this? Because none of them can actually climb up here. The only one that can is the healer, maybe. And that's not really scary whatsoever. But the problem is if I move Boyd down here... Well, no, not if he uses a throwing axe. If he uses a throwing axe, he'll be fine. Although, if I do this, that creates another issue in which... This guy will climb up here and murder her. Depending on what his movement is, which I... Seven. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Or, I could do this vice versa. Move Gotri over here, move Soren over here. Do that! Soren, you're an amazing human being. Well, I mean, half-breed thing. Filthy half lagoose I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Soren. Don't get offended. Um... See, that's my main worry, is that this guy's gonna come up here, and he's just gonna destroy Mist. Uh, what's your speed? 19. He can't... Oh my god. You can't double him, and he can't double you. What's your defense? 11. 11 defense against 34 attack. That brings it down to 23. And you have 30... Yeah, you'll be fine. Throw that axe. Okay, I should probably be a little worried now. Uh, for a different reason than I thought. I didn't quite check movement correctly, so... Boyd could die, although I have a strong feeling that this guy's just gonna go over here towards Mist, which is highly preferable. So, I'm gonna trust in the AI. There is someone that we can move around. Or someone that we can have move again. Oddly enough, it's gonna be you, Rolf. Why am I doing this with Rolf? Well, Rolf can run over here to this ballista. And... Maybe do something, probably not. Yeah, you can't do anything. We'll fire at him. He's evil. Or something. Alright, time to watch Boyd possibly die. It depends on how the AI wants to go about this. A lot of them are retreating to be healed, which can be annoying, but I don't think anything matches that early chapter with the bridge. Uh, it's not one that we got to play on normal together because I originally played it on easy, but it's the one where you recruit Fiona. Fiora, Fiona. Fiora. And that chapter is hell. I hate it. So far, that is my most hated chapter in this whole game. Because it just turns into, they hit you and then run off, and they hit you and run off, and you can't do anything because your units just aren't strong enough. Neffy, what the fuck? I know you're a lucky girl, but... Okay, just continue. 
I am proud of you regardless of your growths. I love watching them all take their turn, like, maybe you'll get her, Jeffrey. No, alright. But she can't do enough damage to kill any of them, and she's not critting, because I haven't made her a custom weapon or anything yet. Okay, so Boyd is safe. And this is exactly the outcome I wanted. Although I did not think he'd have that high of a hit chance on Shinon. That's fine, though. Because if I put Shinon in that bush... I don't think anyone will be able to hit him. But that's kind of presumptuous and dangerous to think. This is amazing. The Nephany of the almost killing clan. Whoa, he's just... Everyone's going for healing. And if I kill their healer, they will be alone and sad. Brom, that was a fantastic swing. Generals. More? That's an... I'm really surprised at the lack of flyers. It's quite surprising, honestly. Ike shouldn't be the one to be up here. We shouldn't have to be. I think I forgot to move these guys, but now my, ma my my plan of approaching the mage down here is kind of hampered. Although these three could probably do it, and Mia's with them. I just forgot that she's still there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop her right there. I don't know what's up with these guys' movement. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, shit. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so the majority of them cannot hit Mia more than once. Oh, that's. Oh, that's him moving, not Mia. Okay. That makes me feel a lot better. Oh shit, I noticed that one of them has a short spear, but that's fine. Because it's hard. Alright, I'm a little concerned about what to do over here, because I feel like sticking Shinon over here is reckless and stupid. But, see, if I was to crossbow... Oh yeah, no way. How much avoid does the bush give? It gives 10 avoid. I mean, he won't be invincible, but... He'll be able to do his job a bit better. As much as Shinon probably doesn't like it, I think sending Ike with him is the best thing we can do here. Ike is not really a good match for fighting most mages because of his resistance, but he is strong as shit. So as long as he doesn't get an unlucky 37, we're good. Ike's crit is so... Did he just land on his sword, or was that unintentional? That's, that's, a, that's kind of a weird one. But basically everyone's going to be super pissed if I do this. And I don't mean you guys, I mean the enemies are going to be really pissed if I do this. This is a really dangerous move. Uh, I don't know yet. What I can do is I could send Shinon out here to be a mage killer, which is a much better application for him than said previously. Yeah, that'll work. And although Ike's kind of out in the open, 
he is generally pretty tanky, so... Once all of these guys are taken care of, we won't have anything to worry about. Crossbows are great. Someone tried to tell me that they're absolutely, like, god-awful, and sure, they're not as strong as bows, but the 1-2 to two range buff on them really, really counts for something. None of these guys can even climb up here anyways. So, I don't know what they're trying to do. I didn't mean to... Nephany, this is though I'm only still living thanks to you. Just thinking about you dying, my sight goes dark and I can't stop crying. Please, hear me and stay safe. Alright, same it's you. <laughs> okay, that was... Random. <laughs> and you guys did tell me the arrow next to the support thing means that their support level's ready to go up, so thank you about that. I did not know that. Or more like I didn't notice. Bro, my, um, I like you a lot. You know this, I think. So please don't you be dying. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. I'd surely like to drink and laugh with you when this is all over. It's okay, Braum. Those two are like best buds. I love it. Oh no, her steel lance finally broke. So all she has is a venom lance now. Braum is almost S rank in um, axes, and Nephany's already S in state or er, staves, uh, spears. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be fine. I didn't calculate something just now, and we may pay- No, okay, he's the one with a 93. For a second I thought Boyd was the one with a 63, and that would be troublesome, because the mage could probably bypass Sheena, although I don't think the mage can move that far. What the hell? Oh, there we go. No, he can't. Okay. Ike is my only worry right now. Maybe Har, if he- Malperforms, but I don't think that's going to happen. Alrighty then. Let's try round two. I should probably be moving him a bit closer. Uh, yep, everyone's done everything they can. Don't worry, Ike. Soren is always watching your back. From above. Oh, well, that actually saves me a lot of grief that I could have had. That's a weird move. Ow. Worked, though. <laughs> Support. Support. Wow, we're... everybody. Getting unlucky. And it's, it's kind of a weird thought, because... Like, in war, when people come back wounded, you're... It's depending on the era, you can't just be like, you were unlucky. Sometimes it just comes down to like, you're more skilled than that, what happened? Although there is a big luck factor to... Um... Combat, as I would say. I think there really is. Anyways. They are not going for Ike because they know they would die. That's a reasonable choice. But they're actually setting up some kills for Soren, whether they know that or not. And Nephany is not going to be low on them either. This map really wasn't that bad. I mean, I can't say that with it not being over yet. But generally, we were aggressive enough to the point that the main threats of the map have been eliminated. Um, we do have those generals to the right side, which can cause some issues. Especially since I don't think anyone on that right side is fast enough to double any of them, causing a problem. 
and it appears that the people on the bottom of the map have not moved yet. I imagine they will when the time comes. That is a sniper, so Nephany's not going to have so much luck with that. Okay, we might need to back up. I think they're going to start moving again. I'm not going to take the risk. Like, sure, there's tons of guys out there. But at the same time, it's... Really not... A good trade here. Okay, I you need to destroy this guy. He All he's doing is getting in the way. Nothing else. Like, that was a very large back step to get away from some random priest swinging a stick. Ike's like, long shafted weapons are my natural enemy as a swordsman. And Soren's just in the background licking his lips like, I'll show you a long shafted weapon. And Ike's like, you're buying me a weapon. He's like, God damn it, Ike. <laughs> you're ruining all my moments. Um, here we go. Steel axe, that should solve it. Uh, that archer over the sniper is probably going to be a slight problem because... Uh, I believe, as most snipers do, they have a... No, he doesn't have a second bow in his inventory. So what we can do is we can start with Braum. I'm surprised he still has 100 hit on this guy. Probably just due to the support bonuses. And he now has an S rank in axes. And Nephany with a Venom Lance can still finish the job, although I should really find a way to get her another Lance. Because Venom Lances are not very strong. But she still can do her job with it. So that's the main worry. This guy over here needs to die. And I don't have a problem killing him with whoever. But no, we really need to back off now. So we're going to do here is Mia. How do I want to do this? I could also kind of do some screwy things with Har, but I think this job's still better for Mia, even against weapon advantage. Worm Slayer's a bit stronger, and I'm almost kind of willing to waste it here. Because Wo Dao, even if we crit, that's not that much damage. It's only 18 damage for crit, I and mean, she would have to crit twice to kill, but even with Adept, she could proc it. Oh my god, there's so many factors. You know what? Less thinky, more Dewey. I should do more thinky. Okay. Um... Now that I'm done saying not real words. We can take advantage of Har's Kanto and get him back here. After he finishes taking out this dude. If he can, I just realize that he's going to be one damage off. Because I don't want these two to have to take on a full thing of generals again, again, right after taking on a general two seconds ago. Because some of them might need healing afterwards. There's a lot of factors that are going into play here. I love Kanto. I know I was complaining about it like five episodes ago, but I feel like I've become a lot better at using Kanto. One of you guys tried to like tell me like shove is a thing, and I, I overuse shove, if anything, with a lot of characters. Uh, that's one of the mechanics I think I love most. I love it even more than the existence of Kanto. And I know that's one of those things that you're probably like, What? How? That doesn't make any sense. 
how could you possibly love this more than this? And it's like, well, I don't really know how, to be honest. Although I am now a little worried for, um, what's his face here. I'm gonna save just because we're so far in. I haven't saved in a while. And I doubt the outcome would be different even if I saved. It's probably a pretty much locked outcome here. Uh, so I want Rolf to come back to this one for one last shot. What he can do... Fire away. So as long as she procs Adept once, she will kill him. That's all I want. Um, Soren, I feel like it would be very beneficial for him to switch sides to this side of the map. So that's what we're going to make sure he does. Because there's a lot of tanky units over here and I should have put him there in the first place. But just unit availability and who I want and where is a long story. Once again, I'm a little worried about Oscar because Oscar isn't exactly the mightiest around. But luckily, thanks to the short spear being so far away, he's he will only be, be hit twice guaranteed. Uh, if at all. And he has a high chance of dodging too, so I shouldn't discount that in any way. Shinon, can you heal yourself? No, you don't. You only have bows. Mist, where are you? You're over here. Mist, I have a job for you. Heal the douchebag. ASAP. As, as soon as you can, do it. So now these guys are finally charging us, which I'm kind of happy about. Now let's end the turn and see what they choose. I'm a little worried about Oscar, but he's next to his support buddy. And he has a pretty high dodge chance, so... Okay, he's fine. He'll live. Hopefully. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. For a second I read that, it's 38 damage. I was like, no, 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 how, how? Okay, we're good. We're even better off than I thought. Although Nefany with that Venom Lance is going to take some work, I'm going to do the best I can to move Gotri over to that side, maybe, or just at least transport the item to her, because Venom Lance, after a while, isn't just, it's just not going to cut it, and she's running low on health, too. Luckily, Brahma has some concoctions that we can trade with Nefi. Ooh, disarm. Beautiful work. He's going to die of poison, too. He has no choice. As long as you proc adept once. Very happy with you. Let's get some strength in there. HP. It's fine, I guess. Oh shit, I don't know how to deal with that at the current moment. <sighs> Miss must have some pretty high resistance. She has 17 resistance with 19 speed. Yeah, okay, Miss could actually fight these guys, but before that, I want her to healing Shinon. So Gautry will be able to get to Nephany. Let's see how I'm going to do this. If he tra- Okay, yeah. I have a way. I have a way. Grom's going to wait here. You're going to vigor him up. Happy day. You're going to run down here. I know this is very... Not on the happy side for you, but I'm going to have you give that to Nephany. Nephany, you have quite a bit of vulner vulnerability, so give him one. Javelin that man. 
He's dead. I didn't want him to have the luxury of dying from poison. Well, it's not really a luxury. Vulnerary is 20 HP. That's not quite full, which is what I want her at at all times. So we're going to go the concoction route. I could have just done some very terrible math there. I apologize if I did. I think it was correct, though. Uh, one of my major goals here, though, is to get rid of this one. Okay, we have to look out, though, because some of these people have some very specialty weapons. Uh, this guy back here is a uh, worm slayer. This guy's a horse slayer. We have some stuff to look out for now. Uh, but so far, everyone's just sticking to the basics. I don't like sticking Ike up front just to do everything, but... If he's gonna do his job, he might as well do it. He's the hero. Until he promotes, then he's a god, hero, emperor, king, Ike. So as long as Shinon kills one mist, we'll be entirely safe. I know it would be more efficient to use the crossbow here since there's two mages, but that's not quite enough unless he crits. So we're just going to play it the guaranteed safe route and go with this. I've always liked Shinon's design. I think Shinon was the first Fire Emblem character I have ever seen. Uh, I've talked about this in Path of Radiance, but my first introduction to Fire Emblem ever, not even playing it, not even a TV commercial. It was, I think it was in an old game magazine, I don't remember which one, but it was screenshots for, it might have been Nintendo Power even, but there were a bunch of screenshots for... Whatchamacallit? for Radiant Dawn, and there are pictures of Shinon holding his bow as, like, the main picture. And that's, like, my most vivid early memory of Fire Emblem. Will you die from this? No, you won't, and you can actually Kanto out. But is it really worth it? Yeah, why not? We'll build support. Wow, you're just really unlucky today, Oscar, aren't you? That slow walk, I will catch you on your wyvern. I have struck you with thy holy blow. I have died. Okay, um, num, num. how do I want to do this? I want to stay here and then move her right there. Problem solved. Although I do have ample reason to be worried about Titania. Uh, mainly because I can't heal her in our current spot. Because if I do, well, I could technically rescue... No, I can't. Yeah, you're just gonna have to suck it up, Titania. You'll be fine, though. I really need to get you a different sword. I'm so sorry I forgot. <laughs> it's going to cause some issues further down the line. I'm going to bring Soren down here for support. Everyone else, I need you to start heading back up towards this area.
Oh, she doesn't have any vulnerabilities or anything like that at all. There you go, Oscar. Feeling better? Shit, they both have steel bows. She's going to be attacked twice. What's their maximum movement, though? Nine. We'll be fine. So I can safely move her up here, and since she can't... Actually, she can if I equip her with a wind edge. But they'll probably go after Har, in all honesty. Which I just realized, and I'm deathly afraid of now. I didn't realize these two are bow users. That could end terribly. But for now, everything's okay, so... We live in the present. Or something. What? Oh, for a second I thought Har was trying to talk to her for some reason. I'm like, what in the shit? I don't think those two have ever interacted in their lifespans. Har can't have his redhead, so I guess he's just going for any other insight. It's just such a weird thought to me, too. Like, when I first saw them, because of the age gap, I wholly assumed that Har was, like, 30-something and Jill was, like, 18. Or, like, 17 or something like that. Oh, I forgot to equip her with the other lance. Whoopsies. It's okay, she can crit with the Venom Lance all day. <laughs> and poison people. Oh, she's so close. You know what, after this mission, I might just, like, get her there with bonus experience. Good dodge, Mist. Dark Souls roll. Get those iframes. Put on that dark wood grain ring. Luckily, because of Ike, I think he drew enough attention to, uh, keep... Is he gonna crit Godfrey to death? No, he's not. That's an odd choice. Go, Godfrey! That's not a smart choice, mister. You, you do not want to try and shoot the murder machine. You shoot the murder machine, the murder machine shoots back at you. Murder! <laughs> I just feel, I just like picture the enemies in the forest and they're hearing Nephany say murder and they're like, did, did you just hear a rare species of bird? It's like, I think it's saying murder, sir. No, that's stupid. Are you crazy? <laughs> Headband man. I used to think Ike was the most, like, generic character in Fire Emblem, but I wholesomely disagree now, seeing as how a lot of Fire Emblem characters are the... Or a lot of Fire Emblem lords are the generic, like, almost, I want to say, like, 90s and 80s anime prince pro... like. Uh, stereotype. I almost said prototype. <laughs> I am Prototype Sigurd 001. I will terminate this world. They're really not that bad. So, we could defeat the boss. And the reward for that is an energy drop. I didn't really think about that or if I wanted to do that. I'd assume that they were going to start rushing us after a while, but, um... Eh. It's fine. I'm always happy to lame it out. Here on this channel, we... We don't play efficiently. We lame it out. And live our lives. That's the thing about YouTubing when I play Fire Emblem, is I'd... I'm, I'm the type of person that'd rather play it safe and not get all the extra little goodies and finish the level in one go 
over than die like 50 times or die in the middle of a level because I was irresponsible and went for something I shouldn't have. You know? I know that might sound a little stupid because you guys are like, well, yeah, yeah. Although, you guys rarely complain about anything I do. I could probably be like, okay, guys, um, we're not using Har and we're not using Nephany. This is going to be a Fiora. Is her name Fiona or Fiora? I don't remember. So like a Fiora, uh, I don't know, Meg only run. <laughs> and you guys would be like, why would you do that? But then you just watch. Ninety-nine, exactly. I'm always happy to see Soren working his hardest. He brought Cancel, too. Not that he can fight back anyway. I didn't mean to javelin. It's okay, he has enough strength that it doesn't matter what he uses. I probably should have had Ike attack first. Because unless she crits, nothing will happen. Ike does need some healing. Although... I don't think there's a single knight that can actually reach Ike. So... He can go on with his life not healing. Or even better, what I might do is I might purposely put him in range. On the very last turn. Only on the last turn, though. I know there's tons of enemies left on the map. But it's defense. They want me to defend, I'll defend. There's very little point in hunting them down and slaughtering them. Okay, uh... Whoa, I forgot about you guys. You know what? We may be able to... last turn this one. Whoa! What's with your range compared to the other? Oh shit, you have a meteor tome, don't you? Well, I don't have any Lagoos on the field, so... Joke's on you, loser. Okay, the joke's still kind of on me, but... In case I monumentally mess this up. <laughs> okay. Tatanya can do some really neat damage. Just enough to kill this guy, too. go. I leveled up everyone's supports quite a bit this round, especially Mist and Boyd for them not having... Well, I guess they never technically talked to each other, but for not having been on a mission together in forever, they were helped out quite a bit. Magic, luck, resistance. Uh, there's nothing else I really want to accomplish right now. It's too late to really go for anything except for the coin, which I am going for in this next turn. I just hope that no one gets, like, meteor screwed in any way or anything like that. Oh, does the coin have to be stolen or is it a droppable item? If it's droppable, then horror can get in and out and we can... Happy life. It's okay, Shinon's there. Holy shit. That's, um, rather unnecessary. 
Shit. <laughs> That's not a fun trade-off, but his crit chance isn't high enough for me to be scared. And he will drop the coin, will he not? Yikes, but then he could get meteored next turn if we're not careful. Oh, how the tables have turned. Tables have turned. Muttons have been poisoned. And, uh... Scales have been skipped, etc. Uh, how can I lower that hit chance? No way. No way. No way. There's no way I can one-shot him either. In horror, we trust. Come on, don't get hit, don't get hit. Because if he doesn't get hit, yes! That uh, guarantees that he won't get killed by Meteor. Although the damage probably would have been too low anyway. But you never want to take that chance. I got the coin. Screw you, boss man. You can keep whatever that is you're holding. Whoops. Har can't go back far enough. I mean, he's weak to magic, but at least this guy only has Elfire. In which the next turn Har can easily run away from. But, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 I don't like that, I don't like that. I don't like any of this. Okay, um, we can fix this. If problems can be broken, they can be solved, too. So what we can do is pray. Pray for Har. Actually, there is a second plan. We can make it so that... Har is using his Tomahawk instead of the Z. Because what this will do is it'll kind of scare the mage out of using um, Elfire because he can fight back. But wait, can he? Oh shit, he can move there right next to Titania. I might have just put her in more danger. <laughs> But at least the bow guy can't hit both of them, so I suppose that's better, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, she actually has pretty high resistance, though, so... I'm gonna trust in her for once. Not for once. I can always trust Tanya. Alright, so now that I'm done dilly-dallying, <laughs> um... Shinon has his own little problem to be worrying about right here. Although, nothing terrifying. Shinon can kill most of these guys with the best. And even if they can hit him, it's not going to be anything too scary. And critical. Okay, uh, what's in our next step here? I want to get her back up there ASAP. I basically want to get everyone back up to the top ASAP. But I trust Ike and Nephany to a point- oh wait. Only these three are moving, we only have one turn left. Never mind. I forgot she still has the other Eddard. Thank you, Neffy. <laughs> so after this, I think we still have one turn left of defending. So let's just hope everything goes well and nothing goes terribly. There's still someone else I could move if I wanted to, but I honestly can't think of anyone else. I probably should have shifted him, though. That's fine. I have no real reason for him to. He could move further, and it's efficient, but I don't know. There's no reason to. I'm not master of efficiency or anything. 
Sheenone's almost leveled up to whatever's above Sniper, which... I, I don't know what the hell that could be. Nice. Okay, Naffy. That's not good. Oh, there we go. It's a lot of damage. Literally half her health bar. Okay, I think I tricked him into using Meteor. Or else he would have just ran up here for the higher damage thing. Yes, okay, plan worked. And then, yes, I know Har is not weak to the Archer, but... <laughs> Never mind. Why do I even think when it comes to Har? It's just let him go. He can do anything. Global warming? The answer is Har. Taxes too high? Call Har. Go, eye patch man. This is why I love you. Okay. I'm actually yawning, not because this level's boring, but I'm just tired. And watching- oh no, a steel axe. I'm going to have to do a lot of resupplying, uh, next episode. Sheenon? Sheenon, get back up on your ledge. <laughs> you do not want to deal with this right now. Because even though some of them can get up here, one of them can get up there and attack Sheenon. The majority are probably just going to run towards the ledge and be like, Oh, we can get him from here, guys. There we go. Alright, so now everyone survived. I can actually pull a cheap trick here, too. I don't have to use ZZZ or anything. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. It would have been nice to steal the Meteor Tome, but it's very hard to steal long-range tomes. You usually have to earn them in some way. And off we go. Or on my own FE skills. Lord Lombroso, stop fighting at once. Your Lavelle, correct Zelgius' lapdog? Commander Zelgius ordered all forces to cease fire for three days. How dare you ignore his order? Keep your tongue behind your teeth and pull all troops back to base camp immediately. I'll pull back for now, but you'd better be prepared for the consequences, you witness, you witless lackey. They're retreating. That was close. Oh, hey, it's you two. Janoff and Olki. Hey, hold on. Hold on a minute. What's going on here? We hurry back and you don't save us anyone to fight? Sorry about that. You're back sooner than expected. How far did you scout? We went to the enemy's headquarters, Castle Gatos. As promised, the Banyuan forces were waiting quietly in their castle. Apparently, some of their soldiers disobeyed orders, but we can trust Zelgius to keep the rest in line. I have other news, however. I ran into someone quite unexpected on the outskirts of enemy territory. Who? The commander of the Holy Guards. General Sigrun. Sigrun? The shit Sigrun. I don't remember who that is. I don't... I can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. Yeah, she was by herself. She seemed hesitant to get near Castle Gatos. It was odd. I figured she's a friend and loyal to the Apostle, so why not try to get some information from her? She wouldn't budge, though. Tough girl, that one. She wasn't at all surprised to see me. Then she said in s such a sad voice, Please escape at once. I wonder what she meant by that. It can't be a good sign. This whole mess is getting worse by the minute. Well, that was a happy end. I could have killed the guy, but whatever. General Zelgius, 
General Sigron of the Holy Guards is here to see you. Should I let her through? General Sigron, let her through at once. Oh, I completely forgot about you. You're the lady that shot the Hadoken in Path of Radiance. <laughs> I, I... Now that I think about it, we never got to use her, so I could only assume that she would be a playable unit in this game, but... Is she from the enemy army? Now? I guess because she's been young. Yeah, makes sense. Is something the matter, General? You do not look well. Should I send for something? Water, perhaps? General Zelgius, I... I can carry an order from the Senate. Or I carry an order from the Senate. The ceasefire has been repealed. You are ordered to destroy the Laguz Alliance and their alliance as well, or their allies as well. What? The enemy has already lost the will to fight. The Apostle and Lord Sephiron would never agree to such a terrible plan. You know, we met Sephiron from the prison, and everyone talks about him, but we've never actually seen him do anything, so... That's kind of weird. General Sigrun? Lord Sephiron of Persis has been stripped of his titles as Prime Minister and Head of the Senate. He is currently under arrest and is charged with committing high treason and fomenting rebellion. No, impossible. This is madness. I know, we killed Ashnard and all that shit and all this is still happening. It doesn't end there. With the Apostle... Uh, the Apostle has gone into seclusion, with illness as the stated reason. Damn it, they've been captured. I've ordered my subordinates to find out where the Apostle is, but I have yet to hear any word... I swear, if they lay a hand on Sunaki, I'm gonna kill all of those dumb nobles. General Zelgius, I beg of you, follow the Senate's orders. Our lives are at risk. Curse those senators. Last game, the enemy was a singular madman. This game, the enemy is common politics. Oh, hey, we haven't kept up with this in a while. You called for me, your majesty? It's nice to see you, Micaiah. You remain Dane's goddess of victory. But I never see your face around here anymore. Are you busy in town? Your majesty, my room is... Uh, my room in the castle is much too lavish for my taste. I'd rather be in town helping with the reconstruction. It's good work and it makes me happy to help our people. How precious. Still obsessed with gar uh, garnering the adoration of peasants, are we? Aren't you past that yet, my dear? Mother, please stop. Micaiah is my dear friend. She is the only person I have to turn to for a kind word now that Izuka and the Black Knight have both left Dane. They mysteriously disappeared on the day of my coronation. Do you think they'll ever return? I'm quite sure that they were both kidnapped by those who wish to- who wish harm upon you, my beloved son. Okay, stop being creepy. You're just creepy, that's it. Those mongrels intend to throw the country into chaos by holding Dane's leaders hostage. But Mother will always protect you, Peleus. I will never leave you, not for one moment. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> When you, f when you seek kind words or good advice, you must come to me, no one else. I understand, Mother. The royal blood of Dane runs through your veins. Do not be afraid of your heritage. Reign over your people as king. Why do I have a very strong feeling that Peleus is not related to Ashnerd at all? And the blue hair is like a red herring? I don't know. I'm just getting that feeling. Like, something's wrong here. He looks nothing like her. He doesn't share eye color. He doesn't share a brand on his forehead, he doesn't share hair color, or that weird, like, almost my color skin. <laughs> Actually, it's very similar now that I think about it. Whatever popularity that girl might garner from the peasants is of little consequence. She is your obedient subject, after all. Now give her your orders. Micaiah, Danes, Maiden of Dawn, your king requires you to service once more. Mobilize the Dane Royal Army immediately. Another war against who? We are answering the request from the Banyol Empire to wipe out the Barbaric Laguz Alliance. Your targets are Gallia's subhumans. Oh no. Oh no, I see how this is going wrong. So, we basically have three sides fighting now. And it's the Laguz against basically every single Bjark nation at this point. That's, um, that's not going to be an easy fight. I can say that for sure. During the war between the Laguz Alliance and Benyon, the three remaining countries on Tellius, Dayan, Crimea, and Goldoa have thus far remained neutral.
In Dayan, the war for independence is over, and Prince Pelias has been crowned. Dayan is now free from Benyon's rule. So Crimea is the only one that's not fighting Gallia. As a sovereign nation. That's kind of, um, the promise she had made and worrying. On as the general of Dayan's armies until the country stabilizes. Most of her companions remain by her side, helping to restore their beloved country. It is their hope that Dayan will recover soon, both politically and socially. Focused as they are, they realize that they can spare no time on outside concerns, including the current war in Benyon. However, King Peleus has a mysterious change of heart and orders Micaiah into the war on Benyon's side. Are you sure about this, Micaiah? This makes absolutely no sense. I'm sure you're just worrying. It's fine. The Dane Royal Army will will answer Banyon's request to attack the Lagoos Alliance at Ribbon River. Th these those are our orders from King Peleus, and as his subjects, we will obey him, without even asking why. Dane is finally back on its own, and why are we even speaking to Banyon, let alone fighting them? I don't know. I do know that King Peleus wants w what's best for Dane, just like us. He must know something we don't. I trust him. No, Makai, he's a goddamn figurehead. It may just be my eyesight. I don't have any problems with eyesight, I except 2020 vision. But it looks like Makai has a wrinkly forehead on, like, the very left side of her temple. I don't know why, it just looks like she has old lady wrinkles. It bothers me a lot. She- he's changed since the coronation, though. He doesn't smile or laugh anymore. Maybe it's because Izuka and the Black Knight vanished. Who cares about Peleus smiling or laughing? We have no quarrels with the Lagoos Alliance. Why are we targeting them? Well, with a few exceptions, the soldiers are excited about hunting down the Lagoos, because they're all racist. They've been promised a large bounty for each one they kill. It certainly raised morale. Listen to yourself, Lagoos hunting? That's just great. We've gone from being freedom fighters to bigots in a blink of an eye. I think that's the first time I've heard the word bigot used, and I agree with it. I can't believe you'd go along with such a murderous plan. How do you feel about this, Micaiah? Tell me the truth. I don't want to fight. Then why are... What choice do I have? I'm general of this army. It doesn't matter how I feel. Besides, I can't let the king I can't let the king or the soldiers down. My duty ultimately lies with them. I'm sorry. Following Peleus' orders is the same as approving them. So, you don't have to do this. I heard that your friend Ike is fighting on the side of Lagu's alliance. Go fight with them or don't fight at all. But don't let me force you into anything. I'm not leaving your side. I swore I'd protect you no matter what. I'll keep my promises. If I can't talk you out of this insanity, I'll fight Commander Ike and his men. So, okay, this is a bit better than I thought it was. Like, Soth is in love and he wants to protect that person, which leads him into fighting Ike, which makes sense. Um, I have a lot of problems when characters just switch sides seemingly, and the ends don't justify the means at all, but since, um... Uh, she, Micaiah is obviously very important to him. He's literally willing to do anything for her. But we'd better prepare ourselves. This fight will be harder than any we've had before. Thank you. I know this isn't easy, but if one side must fall, I will do all I can to make sure it is not Dane. I have no other choice. Micaiah, oh, I see where the story's going now. Shit, I see exactly where the story's going. I'm so sad, though. I don't want... Oh... Okay, we have a lot of info conversations, so I'm going to save it for next time. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying the series, and as of now, I've pretty much decided on one of the next games we're playing, so I'm very happy about that. And if you want to support me in any way, then just subscribe and join the Dust Brigade. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Riding out.